Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Newly Lost, and welcome to more Xenonauts. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we're pretty much, I think we're just waiting for the wolf armor to finish. Yeah, um, I don't think we entirely need to, uh, you know what, we should have a laser in stock, or two lasers, because we lost two people, oh dear. Um, I don't think we entirely need to worry about the wolf armor for the next mission, maybe. Although, like I said uh, in the earlier episode, I think we're pretty much getting very close to the first terror mission, which is going to be—it's going to be a test, ladies and gentlemen, a goddamn test, uh, a test of means, uh, and 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 do we have the answers? But I, I think we do. Um, I'm gonna take a flash. Okay. Uh, yes, I want to take a late. No, no, yes, yes, laser. Ah. Okay. Like we do, they are very difficult. <laughs> you know, d don't get me wrong, they're, they're very difficult uh, missions that I'll do, I guess. Um, but I think, I feel good. I feel like we're in a good. I wonder where he was going then. What the hell? <laughs> he's uh, he's going to thingy, isn't he? Uh,. Yeah, we'll just leave that. Mm. Rearming, 50% ammo, Fox Shot 2. Uh, the Condor won't be able to do anything to that. Uh, I don't like letting him escape. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything, though. Uh... Or suddenly two Fox Shots. We'll send two just to make sure. No. Yes, intercept. Hang on. New target. New target. Yes. Oh, baby. I'm going to just take him out. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Well, all right. So I was going to say we've got quite a bit of cash, but we're going to start building this wolf battle armor now, which is going to take a bit of uh, a bit of our cash. So uh, I guess we'll do the research first now. The question is, what should we do? Reaper analysis. Um... Not too bothered about that at the moment. Alien thrusters. Now, this is going to lead to new drop ships, but beyond that, I'm not sure where that's going to take us. Alien electronics. This is new vehicles and aircraft, which could be worth doing. Now, alien heavy plasma. This is going to. This is kind of the first layer of the plasma technology research. Um, just to give you a quick kind of rundown of, of, as to where I've got with the game. I've got plasma weapons. I got to that point and then I, I obviously stopped that kind of single player campaign and hopefully this will this will replace it and we'll be able to go further. Um, so I kind of know that this does result in plasma weapons eventually. Um, I'm going to take this though, uh, because this is going to give us new aircraft I think and I've never seen these aircraft so I'm going to try that and we'll see what happens. The other thing we need to do is, awesome crazy arm, is uh, engineering and we need to build well, we're building a Foxtrot Interceptor, but then we're going to build armor. It's 40 grand for this. Um, so, what are we at there? Uh, 160. We should be able to build six easy. Okay. Okay. So, the question is, do we wait? Uh, that's fine, because that's in the main base. That's fine. Uh, Central America, what does this have in terms of Interceptors? Uh... I think it says personnel as well, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I am, but there's no transport helicopter, but that's fine. I mean, I guess we can maybe, when we upgrade to wolf armor, send the jackal armor to these guys, just in case. Uh, I think we'll do that, actually. Because I, I don't really like selling it off. I'm not really a fan of that. All right, another radar array. Okay, this is kind of... All right, this is the first terror mission, guys. These are very difficult, okay? So what we're going to do before we do this is we're going to go to the base and we're going to see what we've actually built because maybe we've built one suit of wolf armor. No. So we have no wolf armor for this. Now, we can't mess about. We, we literally have to just go. Um, because if we, if we delay, it could uh, basically stop, which is bad. We'll send a bit of an escort, but this is not going to be able to escort all the way, but most of the way. Uh, hopefully we get there in the day, which I think we will. Oh, in fact, it's going to go back, isn't it? Shit. That was a bad move. This is going to go back. Uh, 
Um, okay, now also, another thing I just want to point out there, I did not want to miss the terror mission. I don't think we would, we would never have made it. Even if we just sent the transport helicopter, it never would have got there in time. I mean, it got there, look. I, okay, they went back because of the mistake I made, but it would never have made it. So that's kind of bullshit. Um, yeah, I didn't expect that. Okay, well, we'll carry on. It's, I mean, it's not the end of the game, but it's obviously not good because I think we'll probably lose funding off them, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, so new projects available for research. We've got the X-37 Corsair Interceptor, Electro Shock Grenade, and a Scimitar Tang. What? Is this a powerful electro shock grenade capable of both stunning biological and robotic? That's pretty good because that replaced the stun, wouldn't it? The stun gas. Um, development of a general purpose interceptor replaced the F 17 Condor, expected to be substantially faster and more resistant. We're going to do that. And I'm going to hope that that actually replaces the craft we've got and, and it doesn't say, oh, you need to pay because I'll be gutted if I do. But yeah, that was kind of bullshit. I don't think we ever could have made that. That is just sort of like a terror mission. Deal with it. Uh, sweet. Okay. It's designed specifically for fighting extraterrestrial craft, which is beautiful. Construction of each Corsair represents significant investment of time, money, and alien materials. But I have little doubt that conventional craft will become rapidly obsolete. Uh, okay. So hopefully, well, I don't think it replaces what we've got, which is pretty shocking. Um, I'm going to get this next, the uh, electro shock grenade. Yeah, that's kind of sad. Uh, how much are these to build? I mean, I'm guessing they're amazing, but what the hell? 300,000. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I guess we'll wait. I, I'm kind of thinking like we, need, we maybe need another base over here somewhere to kind of stop what the hell just went on there because that was that was pretty fucking bad. What is this? I send two condors after that. It looks pretty beefy. Uh, gonna send just the one condor. This one's a bit of a gamble, but we do have the backup plan. I'm gonna send a fox trot and a condor just to make sure we get that. Uh, this is the interesting one. Is, is this going to be killable? No. So disengage, and we need to intercept this with everything else we've got. We'll send two Foxtrots because they're fast. Okay. Tail into overland. Take him out. Awesome. Airstrike. Crash site 25. Boom. Take him out. Awesome. We're going on this mission, and... Do we have anything available? Just a fox trot. Okay. He's kind of coming back in to the base. We might be able to get it with some of the, the ones that have just returned. No. Okay, I was going to launch Charlie 1 over there, but it's a bit dodgy with this in the air. I mean, we do, we've got a fox trot. He's only got 18 health, and we don't want to send him as well. I don't, I don't think we can send anybody else. Just sending a fox trap after that is not going to cut it. Which is irritating, because he's just flying around, asking for it. And I really want to give him the beat of his life. <laughs> right, thank God. Whatever, go. All three of you, go and fucking kill him. Don't dare let him escape. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so 35,000 if we airstrike that and this uh, is 35,000 and it's a medium I think they're both medium crash sites yeah um, okay whatever we'll take that and we'll just let the time advance a little bit and then we will deploy Charlie 1 awesome which should be a daytime mission okay engage alright so we lost two people on the last mission not the best um Hopefully we can not lose anybody on this mission. I'm still pissed off about that terror mission. I'm really pissed off. I, I just don't think there was any way we could have got there. The only way we could have stopped that is if we had detected the whatever the hell it was coming in to drop the terror mission. Right, we're totally going to get the alien fucking officer this time. Priority. That was not very nice, was it? 
Okay, well, it's these guys, so hopefully that means that the alien officer is a... One of the chaps with a fancy shirt on. Let's get into cover. Okay. Uh, yep, that's fine. You know what? We don't have anybody with a shotgun. We could have maybe have um, pulled a shotgun out. Okay, so we should be able to get... Oh, 25 that, See, that was kind of stupid. I shouldn't have done that. I, I'm just... I'm reeling from the fucking loss of the... the, the I can't believe the game sold us down the river. Go away, dude. I you bastard. All right, well, he can just take a look out of here, just in case anything's going on. Uh, then I want him to move into the main team. Awesome. Sheesh. We should have maybe made another laser weapon. Okay, oh, this is iffy. Um, she can move a little bit. With 45 left, she could get... Yeah, there's no way she could really do anything more. Let's just hope for the best. Don't kill any guys. Okay, too suppressed. He'll do that again. Right, that's not a bad result. I mean, he's... Oh, hello. Uh-oh, I think the UFO's over there. Judging off the noise. But again, like I've said before in previous episodes, the noise can just mean anything. I mean, it, it can mean the UFO's out. It could be over there. We just don't bloody know. Are you fair? All right. These guys have been suppressed, so they don't have much uh, in the way of options. He didn't fire, did he? So he will take a shot at us. If we get too close. That's 48. Or we go full auto on him. I think we do gamble and win. <laughs> awesome. Um... This guy, though, we do have a shot with a sniper, which is good. And I'll... In fact, they're both the same, so we'll take that. Okay. Sniper is worth its weight in gold all day, every day. Okay. Um, we'll go around this way, you know. We'll take a look for the window. Okay. In fact, go forward. Go forward. You can stay there. Uh, I want you to bring up the rear. I want the sniper to join in with this team. Let's go. No, piss off game, yes. Okay, awesome. Oh! Alright, so <laughs> that is the crazy alien disc thing, which has got like a lot... Well, it, it looks like a lot of firepower. It's not really that much. I mean, we only took like, what, three damage there? If basically nothing, but... Oh, no... Um, they are very... They're, they're good at suppressing people, but they're just not very good at anything else. Uh, obviously, if you get a full volley loaded into you, you probably will die. Or, like, you'll take a lot of damage, but, I mean, beyond that, they're not really up to too much. Oh, baby. Somebody in the house, then. That has posed a little bit of a problem because I I want to take this out, but I'm afraid we're going to have to kind of just come around the side. Oh, this isn't too good. Well, if you can get into the building, I'll take that. She may be in the line of fire there, but I'll take that. Um... I mean, I know she's a sniper, but she's still, I mean, she can still put the hurt down. All right, uh, this is going to be dodgy, but we're going to leave it. We'll put him into cover. And hopefully we don't get a casualty here. Combat shield could save us. All right, that's good. I don't think we can die now. Nah, if you want, okay. Okay. We see, like, it's a lot of fire, but it's not really, it isn't really anything. And I don't think they're very heavily armored either, those uh, flying things. Oh, come on, Thomas Cook. I want to go on holiday, you bastard. <laughs> but maybe he's going on holiday. <laughs> That's the thing. Oh, boss, I'm, I'm unnerved. Not really. I'm just... Uh... Oh, for fuck's sake. Mind you, he has been shot quite a few times. Block, get out of it. <laughs> All right, 
job done. Okay, we need to find this alien in this building. Uh, I'm absolutely wrecking. Well, we know he's there, don't we? So maybe we could, like... Maybe he can get a smoke. Oh, come on. That is through the window. I mean, she's standing right at the bloody window. Okay, well, he can stay there. He, I mean, the mayor's... Uh, she can kind of get in here. He needs to get his fucking laser weapon back, the idiot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh! Okay. Okay, okay. I t uh, is, she, is she bleeding? She might be bleeding, you know. I think I've seen blood hit the floor. Usually when there's blood on the... Uh, no, okay, she's fine. Alright, well, we know there's an alien there. You, get your shit back, you stupid git. Do you know how much this fucking weapon's worth, boy? Alright, he's dead. You get the privilege of... Oh, actually, 100% block. See what it makes of this. There goes, son. <coughs> Have a whiff of that. Have a whiff of that. <laughs> She's going forward like a champ. Oh, yeah, there's a UFO. Okay. Um, stop moving these guys around. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Um, she didn't take a shot, so she can still move, which is good. In fact, she can go here. All right, she's the sniper after all. Rocket man, get your ass up to the front. Um, these two guys, well, he threw the nade, but he may as well keep going towards the front. This guy... I want him to sit there, and I think that is all of them. Oh, apart from the guy we left on the ship. There's always somebody we leave on the ship. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, dear oh dear, get in the action. I mean, it's a guy with a laser rifle as well. What the hell? <laughs> okay. That's fine. That's fine. See, as soon as we've got the wolf battle armor, these, these little alien weapons won't have much of an effect on us, <laughs> even when they hit us. <laughs> Hey. Oh, hang on. She broke, didn't she? Oh, what the fuck? I didn't order that. Okay. Uh, slightly awkward. Um, I'm going to run up here just to, so we can see what's going on over here because we don't want to get blindsided. That would be pretty dodgy. All oh, right. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that, ladies and gentlemen. We'll just come around the corner. Um, although we do know there is an alien there, so we need to be kind of careful. I guess bunching the guys up isn't a good idea either, but I'll tell you what, we'll make our way to the front of the ship. Um, we have Rocket Man. He's going to get his ass over the point. Right, again, he can get close to the ship. Uh, she threw her weapons on the floor and ran off, which was fucking terrible behaviour, so that's not good. <laughs> And he's still bringing up the rear, so I'm going to move him here. Get him a bit more cover. Well, I'm using kind of good cover there, but keeping the team together is crucial. Because if you don't keep them together, they sort of shit themselves. They're like, no, the morale drops. I mean, you can see he's got 71 morale, this guy. Lionel Jenkins, he knows what's going on. Like, you don't even care. You don't even care for that alien. <laughs> oh, well, she doesn't. One day I'll get it right that she's actually a woman. Sometimes I do remember, though. But it's like I said, it's because the models are just male. Ugh. Okay. Right, so we don't have the combat shield anymore because we're stupid and we stand on the front lines like fucking... We think we're the big man. It's just not the case. Uh... Okay, well, you know, we might actually be able to just get a shot off. If we run in, open the door, we might be able to just hit this guy with the sniper. We'll just move back, and she can totally do that. Yep. Okay. Move her in with a pistol. This guy, will bring him in there. Okay, awesome. And I want her to move, but she's not going to be able to go the full way. Okay, I want her to get a fucking weapon back. That'll be, yeah, that'll be nice. That's good. And I want her to... Uh, kind of make her way around there. Now, the rocket guy... 
wherever he is. We haven't moved him. I want to put him there. Okay, so we need to breach this a bit better than before. I mean, we all moved... There's no way you can hit me from there. Is that a commander? I mean, he's got... Oh, is that just a door thing? You seem to have something on him. Oh, there's three of them there. You know what? This could go quite well. A nice smoke in there. Uh, a stun grenade. I don't think I've ever actually thrown a smoke grenade. Don't be her. Fucking hell. I don't believe it. Right, anyway. So... We just move forward, open the door. Uh, he's used his smoke, which is typical. This guy, though, can launch a rocket, which is going to cost 37. Okay, so if we move... Oh, actually, he's, he's going to have to uh, load in one of them. Uh... You know what? I wonder if I could have actually have moved then if I did click again. I'm not sure, but he didn't have a, smoke, uh, a stun loaded in, did he? Shit. Okay, maybe we can still get one in there, though. Um, so, she's saying 45, 42. Maybe, maybe she can throw one from there, but then that's kind of leaving her on the front line. This guy, uh, what's he looking at to throw? 35? Maybe he can get it from there, you know. No, okay. So, if you're moving one more square. Okay, we'll take that. Good throw, good throw. Okay. Um, Alright, so a lot of these people are kind of... We'll move her this way. She... Oh, no. No, he nearly shot his friend. She is kind of in a dodgy place, but I'm hoping the, the smoke will actually take them out. The toxic gas or whatever it is the hell we've made. Okay. I think well it must have because they've they've not they've ceased their attack. Yeah. All right. So I don't know whether any of them were the alien commander. Um so what we're going to do now is she is going to get her stuff back because now her morale has magically returned. That's fine. Um These guys can just sit inside the UFO. We'll move him kind of up there. She can look this way. Move her out this way. She can look that way. He can just, I mean, we'll leave him there. I mean, really, we should swap those over because, uh, I guess, to be honest, he doesn't even need to be there, does he? We don't have this covered. So I guess we could just turn around. But Okay. We, well, we haven't killed any aliens inside the ship yet, and that would logically be where the commander is. I mean, why would the commander leave the ship? So that's kind of okay. Uh, yeah, just then turn again. We've got to wait for that stuff to... You know what, actually, when we get the, the electro-whatever grenade, I'm guessing that they don't leave a cloud of shit in the way. So we might be able to... Um, just... Throw those stun grenades in, then leave. So, well, then go straight in instead of having to wait. But this is much better than actually just going in and trying to take them out. And also causing damage to the ship. Okay, so I think there's only one bit of the crap left there, which is pretty much on top of that, so he should be able to move there fine. Okay. Alright, so she is going to move. I wanted to move into the corner, but... Uh, she can kind of just move there, that'll be fine. Uh, we'll send somebody else. Actually, we won't send them right in. We'll leave him there, just in case there's any kind of alien bullshit. Move the sniper in. Okay. <laughs> Don't kill him. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oh my god. That that's the commander. Cause he's got a stupid hat on. Fucking hell. I'm proud of the team, but I'm also pissed. You shot the guy. Jesus Christ. Uh... I, I guess we'll get it on the next mission, I guess. But that that is annoying. The team performed well, but that's annoying. And we've also made quite a lot of cash. That is fucking annoying, team. Maybe I should turn them off the... Uh... 
reaction shot thing. If I can, I think you can. Uh, yeah, we don't care about these. These are garbage. These little drone things. Oh, but they do give us the jumpsuit, which actually is is pretty good, actually. Um, but I think we're still researching electroshock grenade. I mean, the the buzzer jump shoot. I'm, well, I've never used one, but I'm guessing it's pretty good because it's going to allow us to go up into the air and get on top of buildings really quick, which is going to be pretty powerful. Uh, electroshock grenade is on the way, so yeah. Scimitar tank sounds amazing. I might just have to research. Well, just for the sake of it. But yeah, I think we're going to leave it at that, guys, for this episode. So we started off a little bit bad. We didn't get the terror mission done down here, uh, which was annoying. I don't think we even would have made it in time. Um, so that's kind of annoying. And that mission there would have been easy to capture a, a commander alien guy, but our team shot him. So, I, I mean, I can complain, but also I'm kind of happy because they just murdered him. So, you know, that's fine. <laughs> but there you go, guys. This is uh, this has been Xenonauts. And uh, I hopefully I'll see you for the next episode. So, toodaloo.